Здравствуйте, товарищи, and welcome to our eighth day of our month of mods victory march. And today I've got another fantastic Medieval 2 Total War mod for you guys, and this is easily one of the most comprehensive mods out there. It completely changes just about every single aspect of the original game. It's taken years for this mod to get to the point where it is now. Tons of work, tons of time, and tons of polish have gone into it. And it really shows, because what you've got when you install this mod is a game that's virtually unrecognizable from its original state. I'm of course talking about the fantastic Third Age Total War. Now, Third Age Total War is a game that takes the, of course, Total War engine and brings it into the realm of Middle-Earth. So what you've got here is a Total War game that has a custom map, that has custom units, that has custom heroes, quests, and abilities, all based in the realm of the Lord of the Rings universe. So when it comes to factions, you've got just about every single last faction you could ever imagine from a Lord of the Rings game. You've got the Dwarves, you've got two factions of Elves, the High Elves and the Sylvan Elves, because, you know, you can never have too many Elves, I guess. Uh, various Human factions, Rohan, Gondor, Men of Dale, various Orc factions, you've, you've got the Orcs of the Misty Mountains, Gunabad, you've got Mordor, you've got Isengard, Harad, and the list goes on and on. And each one of these factions has had a ton of work done to it, so they all have their own distinct units, playstyles, and campaigns. But I've only really scratched the surface. Honestly, I think the thing that really blows me away the most about this mod is the custom cities and settlements. So places like Minas Tirith, Osgiliath, Helm's Deep, Mines of Moria, they all have their own custom maps. So when you've got to defend Minas Tirith from a horde of orcs, and you will because this mod is pretty tough, you actually fight a siege battle in Minas Tirith which is based off sort of the look of the city from the movies, which I don't think I've ever seen in any other mod. So you're not just fighting in a generic Medieval 2 Total War city, you're actually fighting in these places that have connections to the universe. It's touches like these that make you forget oftentimes that you're playing a mod and not something that is its own independent game. And if we're going to talk about units, they are amazingly detailed, because they look like things that could be ripped straight from the movies, or they look exactly like you would imagine them to from the books. And there are far more units than just your basic soldiers, knights, and archers. There are cave trolls, mumakills, belrogs, heroes such as Aragorn, Legolas, Gandalf, they're all in the mod. Only drawback is, I don't think Tom Bombadil's in the mod, which could be the one and only negative. I don't even think I've mentioned the fact that the mod has its own custom campaign, called the Fellowship Campaign, which charts the travels of the Fellowship of the Ring. While I definitely don't enjoy this mode as much as I enjoy the Third Age Campaign, which is your basic Total War campaign, it is certainly a welcome addition. And there are even historical battles which are based off battles from the Lord of the Rings universe, such as the Battle of the Five Armies, which add just another cherry on top of our already fantastic Sunday base. I have no qualms in saying that this is the best Lord of the Rings game I've ever played. I mean, the Third Age Total War completely blows Battle for Middle-Earth 1 and 2 out of the water, which is saying a lot, because I really enjoyed both those games. Though I will say that the Third Age Total War has borrowed a lot of voices and voiceovers from Battle for Middle-Earth. And Battle for Middle-Earth did have one thing over the Third Age Total War, and that was the fact that it had Tom Bombadil in it, so that was, that was kind of a plus. But no, this mod is an absolute 100% recommendation. Just like all the other mods on this list, of course it's free, but I still have trouble believing that I got this experience for no money. And if you're a Lord of the Rings fan at all, this is an absolute no-brainer to check out. And if you don't own Medieval 2 Total War, buy the game just for this, because it is completely worth it. So, that brings us to the end of our look at the Third Age Total War. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you'll join us tomorrow for another fantastic mod. And until that time, this has been Joseph, he's run of Stalin, signing off for now, and I'll see you guys next time.